More than 30 Americans are out of Haiti tonight, escaping the escalating gang violence and chaos overrunning that country. According to the U.S. State Department, two U.S. government chartered helicopter flights from Port-au-Prince evacuated the group from Port-au-Prince to the Dominican Republic. And 14 other people, including children, are back in Florida tonight after landing at Orlando Sanford International Airport. They were transported from Haiti using State of Florida resources. Governor DeSantis announced their safe arrival late today. And the flight could not get out of Haiti Tuesday. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. Thank you for joining us here at 11 o'clock. While others try to get out of Haiti, a poor St. Lucie man just fought his way back into the country. Mishak Sinamore grew up in Haiti, and Ari I spoke with him earlier tonight. Ari joins us now. Mishak says the rising violence is not the only danger people in Haiti are facing. It most certainly is, and in fact, he says the violence isn't even the biggest concern for most Haitians. He says the violence is contained mostly to the country's capital, Port-au-Prince, but that violence is causing massive shortages of all necessities throughout the rest of the country, and that is what he is now trying to change. When Mishak St. Amour landed in Haiti Tuesday, he expected the worst. He still wasn't prepared for what he found. It's most likely worse than what I was thinking. Mishak is the president of an organization called Habitat for Children Ministries based in Port St. Lucie. He grew up in Haiti and has returned to his village with supplies, 1,500 pounds of food. He is carefully giving it away where it's most needed. It's just not enough to share with everyone. It can't work like that. That's what we was hoping. But it can't work like that because right now you're going to start something you can't finish. Mishak's village is far away from Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, a center for violence and terror over the last few weeks. He says there's no violence where he is, but they are still suffering. A shortage of food, uh, gas, uh, food itself, and also anything you can set off to feed a family. And Mishak says that's why he left the Treasure Coast to return to Haiti to help however he can. He says he will continue to work to bring in supplies to keep people alive until Haiti can recover. Haiti not going to die. So there's people going to be believe on it and there's some who's not going to believe. But I believe one day Haiti come going to come out. Mishak tells me right now he does not know long how he will how long he will stay in Haiti. He's just focused on helping. If you would like to help, we put a link to his organization's website on our website, WPBF.com. Reporting live, Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News.